Hello everyone, in today's video I will show you how to create this smooth zoom in and out effect okay. in Unreal Engine 5. This will also work in Unreal Engine 4. We will also add a sound effect to it, so when you zoom in it will play the sound effect and zoom out it will play another sound effect or the same sound effect. So let's start. So what you want to do first is to go into the first person folder, blueprints, bp first person character and then you want to go into the event graph and find a empty spot just like here now we want to go to edit project settings then we want to scroll down until we see input and then add a action mappings so this is the key you want to press when we want to zoom so rename it to zoom in slash out now choose the key you want to zoom in and out with. I want to choose the uh, right mouse button. Once you've selected your input, you can just close out of this, go into the event graph again, and then you want to add the input we just made. So right click, then search for zoom in slash out. So now, if you want to do like this, so if you press the right mouse button, uh, then it zooms in and then it will stop and then you need to press the right mouse button again and it will zoom out if you want that you need to add a flip-flop and then just drag out of A and B but if you want to hold down the right mouse button to zoom and then when you release it uh, it will go back to the normal uh, position then you want to drag out of pressed or released so choose whatever you want, but in today's tutorial, I will use the uh, pressed and released, so I will not use the flip-flop. Now, we want to drag out a pressed, and we want to add a timeline, so add timeline, and call it zoom in slash out, just like that. So the pressed will go into the play, and the release will go into reverse, so we reverse the timeline. Now. Go into the timeline. Now we want to add float track. So click on this right here. Then call it zoom. And then the length. I want it to be uh, 2.5 seconds. So it will take 2.5 seconds uh, for the camera to zoom in. So now we want to hold down left shift. So hold that down. And then left left click on the mouse button. So now we want to hold down left shift and we can click anywhere just like that so we add a key and you can also do that by right clicking and add key to curve float 0 just like that then the key time will be 0 and the value will be 0 as well just like that oh, 0 and 0 yeah. Now, we want to add another key, so left shift and click, and the time will be 2.5, and the value will be 1, so it is fully zoomed in. Now you can click these two buttons right here, to, to see the whole line. Then, you can right click right here, and then click on auto. So this, this will make it much more smooth. Now, compile and save, and go to the event graph. Now, we want to drag out the first person camera. Now, drag out of here and set field of view. And the update of the timeline will go into the field, set field of view. Just like that. Now, in field of view, we want to drag that out and get a lerp. So it will switch between these two values. So the alpha will go into the zoom. And then we want to change the FOV, the default FOV, and for me the default FOV is 90. So just click on the first person camera and uh, look at field of view, and mine is 90. So I'm gonna set 90 here, and I wanted to zoom in to about the half of that. So let's say 45. Oh, 45. And now the code is done and should be working. So now we can compile and save and test out. So now 
if we hold down right click you see that we zoom and if we re release it it zooms out just like that and it is very smooth now this may be too slow for you but I think I think that this is a realistic look to it now it is all done but you can do one more thing if you want to make it more realistic and that is to add a sound effect to it so let's do this so what you want to do is to drag in your sound effect and I just found this sound effect on YouTube so drag that in and it needs to be a .wav file uh, because mp3 mp3 won't work so now we want to go into the bp first for the character and then from pressed we want to drag that out and play sound 2d so what 2d means is that it will play in both ears so it is not a directional sound and the sound will be the zoom camera zoom effect just like that then you can duplicate this and do the same for released but drag that into reverse just like that now let's test out compile and save and let's test it out as you can see it works the sound is a little bit off but you can just change the timeline so it matches the sound but yeah this is all we need to do it is uh, all uh, working now so i hope you like this tutorial and i will see you in the next one so yeah bye